that's a DPQ. It's the sum over P log P over Q. How did we get that? How did we get that into this form? What is this? This is what the distribution would be if two random variables were independent. Mm -hmm. So if, if you assume that the random variables are independent, x and y, this is what that distribution is. So in fact, this is a valid distribution over x and y. So if you let q be this, then that's okay. Then that and this are equal, and we know that this is greater than or equal to zero. So, in the end, what I started with was h of y minus h of y given x. Started with this and got here, and I know that this must be greater than or equal to zero. So therefore, h of y is greater than or equal to h of y given x. So that is a super rigorous way uh, to show the intuition that I gave you in the beginning, is that if you have some side information, it can help you compress. Because you have the option of either using or throwing out that side information. One other thing to notice. This quantity is going to come back. Uh, we're talking about source coding right now, but when we talk about channel coding, this quantity will come back. H of y minus h of y given x uh, actually has a special name. It's called the mutual information. And when we talk about channel coding, we will show that this is the maximum rate at which you can reliably transmit in a noisy channel. If y are your channel observations, then x is what you send. But that's for later. Uh, but furthermore, we just showed that this mutual information must be positive, or must be greater than or equal to zero, because it doesn't make sense that the maximum rate at which you can transmit would be negative. 